So this is actually my first ever LEGO game that I'm playing. So obviously my first platinum in a LEGO game. I heard the platinums and trophies are pretty simple overall in the LEGO games, but I also heard that they are a lot of fun and well worth to get. So here we are. I picked LEGO the movie because I have seen this movie actually, and I thought it was super fun. I'm looking specifically for a scene in the movie. First try. <laughs> First try. with batman so we will see if that scene is gonna be in this game i really hope so but yeah let me know in the comment section guys if you have this platinum what did you think about it or do you have platinums in other lego games that you think i should get let me know all right guys so we do have a plan oh my god it's so bright like hello flashbang in this menu throw a flashbang so we do have a plan for this game uh we're gonna start a new game obviously and play through the whole campaign without bothering about so many trophies we get the trophies we get and then we're gonna unlock a bonus room after the campaign where we need to get some trophies uh second step is to go through the mission select and then we head back to the chapters that we have missed collectibles in the last step is to go for the miscellaneous ones uh, so all the trophies we missed during mission select and our first playthrough so pretty straightforward and yeah i hope this is gonna be fun and because I didn't mention it in the intro, and I always want to mention this, this Platinum is considered being a 2 out of 10 in difficulty. It requires you to play the game twice, and it's going to take you around 15 hours to get. So while starting the game, I noticed straight away that the humor was very similar to the movie. It's coming. <laughs> Cover your butt, I knew so it! Yeah. <laughs> Did you see where all my awesome. last night? Is it this Liam Neeson? Love him. He's the best. He and I'm looking forward to Batman. Uh, this is embarrassing. Apart from the great humor, this game is pretty straightforward. You're building Lego, you're destroying Lego. <gasps> Wait, this is absolutely the most fun so far we're having. <laughs> For me, this game started a little bit slow, but it gets more and more fun when you do the free roam after you finish the main game and when you get more characters to play as. And talking about characters, you need to collect all the characters in this game to get a trophy, the special people in your life. But before this trophy, we're going to get a lot of other trophies, for example, finishing all the missions. Jump far. Oh, cover your butt. Let's get crazy! Smart. Why are my pants cold and wet? Yeah, I wonder. Everything is awesome! <laughs> You can still change everything. This must be the end. Here we go, guys. We did it. 25.7% uh, completion, I guess. So we have so much left to do. Bonus room. This is step two, guys. If you remember from the beginning of the video, this is step two in the progress for getting the plat. In the bonus room, we need to find 10 golden bricks, as you can see at the top of the screen. We also need to find 1 million bits. I don't remember what they are called. Slugs? No. <laughs> studs. They're called studs. So when we collected 1 million studs, we're going to get the last golden brick in the bonus room. And those ones we need for a trophy later on in this video. While playing all these missions, I also got some random trophies while playing the game. For example, we got the opposite of happiness, which means that we defeated 20 enemies as Unikitty. This is the best thing ever. Absolutely best in the game. <laughs> opposite of happiness. <laughs> We also got first try, which means that we built an instruction build without losing any studs. We also got a trophy called I am the computer, which means that we collected all studs in a minigame. 
and then always read the instructions because we build all the instructions in story mode mm -hmm. oh all the instructions nice we also got a trophy called really hard is this be impossible which means that we destroy 50 enemies as metal beard and i also love these trophies when you actually do a mistake in the game and they reward you with a trophy as this trophy right here called building bad which means that you're trying to use a non-master character or builder to build a master build Attempt a master building with a non master builder. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> oh, oopsie daisy, did I do that? The last random trophy before we finished the first playthrough was I super hate you right now, which means that we play as Superman and Green Lantern. Any idea how to get past that tentacle? Oh, I am full of ideas. I super hate you right now. Wait, what's that? Play as Superman and Green Lantern? Wait. Why do we get a trophy for that? We don't have any choice, but okay. <laughs> so now when we have finished the whole game, we need to go back in free roam and explore each level to make sure that we have all the gold manuals, all the pants, and everything is awesome! The stud meter, which means that we need to collect enough studs for each level. There are three things you need to do for each level and it is a little bit of time consuming but i found this part very fun to do because you can do it in your own way a little bit because you have so many characters to choose between and you have a goal in another type of way so this was my favorite part of the game the first one i got was including but not limited to which means that we bought all the master builders Oh, including but not limited to. Oh, okay. Purchase all master builders. I was like, how can I get this trophy without knowing? Is it all the master builders? I need to know. I thought it was for all the characters. I was like, that's too early, game. <laughs> I shouldn't get that. Nice, we got it. And eventually we got the trophy for collecting all the pants. And also the trophy for getting all the specials, aka the everything is awesome meter. And after that, we also got the trophy for collecting all the gold bricks. Build things all that you can build. Let's go. So now we only have two trophies left for getting 100% completion in this game. And that is to collect all the 20 red bricks and to collect 1 billion studs. Yeah, you heard it correct. The 1 billion stud trophy is a work in progress, so I didn't get the trophy yet, but we managed to collect all the red bricks. And after that, we also got a trophy called Everything is Awesome. And this trophy was sure awesome. True! Yeah, two and a half million. That's why I couldn't afford it. Let's freaking go! Welcome to Bricksburg! Bam, bam. Batman. Lego Batman is in here though. Oh my god, everything is awesome. Oh, 100%! We did it! We did 100%! Let's keep go! So now we're on the last step towards the platinum, and that is to get all the miscellaneous trophies that we have missed. I decided to stream the game on Twitch with my Twitch community. So go and check out my stream, guys, if you haven't. We started with a pretty fun trophy where we need to change good cop to bad cop. Good cop to bad cop. <laughs> and then for changing Vitruvius to Vitruvius Ghost. Look, so we're gonna play as Vitruvius. And then we're gonna change to Vitruvia's ghost? Yeah! Prophecy! I made it up! And we also got the trophy for buying all the characters in the whole game. Sheriff, not a robot. 500! I can buy it from here! We should get the trophy then. Look at this, guys. So this one should be the last one. Let's see. Yeah! special people in your life there are also two very random trophies we got which were that we need to play the game with lady liberty and abraham lincoln boom 
And we also need to shoot Emmett with the robot skeleton. <laughs> And after that, we went to complete all the golden instruction builds. Yes! We defeated 10 enemies with Kragol. Oh and we also used his leg machine. <laughs> now we also needed to go back to the character selection and pick Emmet Cowboy because we need to defeat 30 enemies to get a trophy. We also needed to go for Sheriff, not a robot, to defeat 20 enemies to get the trophy. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> we also got 21 awesome in the dancing minigame. And we also completed all master builds in the server room as Benny. Also got a trophy for finding an invisible yet. All right, guys, so now we're going to get a trophy called Start a Fire or Make a Fire. And as you guys can see, we are Lady Liberty. L Lady? Did I say Lady because of Liberty? Lady Liberty. And here we should be able to start a fire. Boop. Yeah, fire starter. There we go. The funny thing is, I started a fire numerous times in this game, but I never use circle. I always throw like dynamite or a bomb to start the fire. So, yeah. Now we're going for another very easy trophy, guys, where we need to customize our character, which I think you can do over here. Yeah. Boom. Wear clothes. Shake. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to go for a trophy, which I love the name of. Glues your daddy. Glues your daddy. Yeah, you heard it correct. Yeah. Who's your daddy? Now we went back for one of my favorite mini games in this game, and that is the dancing QTE game. We went back to the construction site because here we need to nail 21 awesome QTEs to get another trophy. Yes, we got it. We got it. We should get it. It was with the music and Unikitty. I could sing the songs for hours. That is literally me. <laughs> And we also got another trophy that I mentioned before, which was pretty nice. Yes! Business, business, business! That was such a delay. And as you guys can see, 98% of the trophies. I only have one more trophy to get now. Let's go and get it. So here we are, guys. This is the last trophy before the platinum. I saved this one for the end for a reason. I thought this was going to be a fun one. Very random one. So let's go. <laughs> that was it. That was it. <laughs> the piece of resistance. We got the plat, boys. Freaking got it. My first platinum in... My first ever Lego game, and here we go. I got it in Lego the Movie, and it was a fun journey, let me tell you. Let's freaking go, guys. That was, that was good. 